Michigan flipped red in 2016. The president won it by roughly 10,000 votes. Now Republicans think they have a chance at the Senate seat there. We were there this week as Republican John James walked the poor African-American neighborhoods of Detroit. He says incumbent Debbie Stabenow is taking the black vote for granted. Senator Stabenow puts her party above our people, and that needs to stop. Well, I know all that because she only show up during election time. Yeah. You only hear from her during that time. I, I you know, I quit voting Democrat. It's been a while. You know, the local, like mayor and stuff like that, I vote Democrat, but because they they run on unopposed. We got a problem. No, we're gonna fix it together. John James with us now from Michigan. Uh, what's the problem you need to fix, sir? The problem is that we need a seat at both tables. Right now, when 85% of African Americans vote in one party, then that ensures that neither party has to work for the African American vote. Now, I don't have a black message or a white message. I have a red, white, and blue message, and everybody is sick and tired of the partisanship. We want more leadership, not more okay, partisanship so, in Washington. So, so what are the policies that Senator Stabenow either has failed on or not advocated on that you think resonates with the African-American community that you're talking to? Well, what resonates is how the school systems have been failing our generations and generations in the African-American community around Detroit, but not just in Detroit, but all around uh, the state. There, there's, no, there's no question it, that it's been, a, it's been a failure. What's the solution? Mm -hmm. The solution, I believe, we need to get DOL training dollars, Department of Labor training dollars, back here to the state to train people who are in the workforce um, to, to upskill their existing labor skills. And for the people who are still in, in the education system, we need to make sure that we have an apprenticeship, internship, and co-op programs working with businesses, not against businesses. Mm -hmm. And you can find out a little bit more about that on johnjamesforsenate.com. We need to fix this now. All right. Noteworthy that we asked Senator Stabenow for an interview while we were in Detroit, invited her on this weekend. She declined. Uh, obviously, that invitation stands. But we su she suggested that we talk to the local chairman of the NAACP. Take a listen. I don't think you're going to find an overwhelming number of folk, uh, African-Americans in particular, uh, carrying up a flag for John James. Uh, it's just not there. There Why may be not? some because John James has presented himself uh, in a way that is somewhat militaristic and Trumpyish. I mean, he's he has wrapped himself uh, in a flag of Donald Trump. He has supported the policies of President Trump. Fair criticism. Well, uh, I will always put my God and my country before any man. I pledged my oath to the Constitution of the United States of America, and my job I, as a United I, States I, I senator... I understand that. You, I mean, you, you were the one who said that the president's endorsement was icing on the cake. Yes. Uh, no, no secret that the, the president's approval numbers among African Americans isn't that high. Is wrapping yourself in the flag of President Trump uh, the smart political move? Well, I have never wrapped myself in anything, and I've never hung on anybody's coattails. I am standing on my service to this country okay. and my understanding of how to grow business and how to grow opportunity for the people of the state of Michigan and to protect the American dream. And people who think they know me because of an R by my name, hmm. then they need to look, ju not judge a book by its cover. They need to open their minds and see that we have an opportunity to get somebody who understands combat right. uh, and understands taking care of our veterans and who understands how to grow business opportunities, economic opportunities for the Michigan families and not just judge a book All by right. its cover. Uh, we appreciate you being here, sir. I know you're happy with the latest poll. Nine points down, uh, having the lead in the latest poll Single by a Republican digits. group. All right, we'll have you back before the election. Thanks for being here.